Hello students, welcome to the subject of complex variable and partial differential equation. So this is our second lecture for the chapter complex integration. And uh, as you all know that in the last lecture we discuss about line integral. So let's take a quick revision. Okay, first of all you have to understand the, how you, you can find the equation of line. So I mean two points x1 y1 and x2 y2. So that is nothing but determinant of x y1 x1 y1 1 x2 y2 1. That is equal to zero. After that, equation of circle. Remember, this is also very important. Uh, or z minus a that is equal to r, where a is the center and r is the radius. Okay. And after that, uh, also one important formula which you have to remember: integration f of z dz that is equal to integration u dx minus v dy plus i integration u dy plus v dx. Okay. So this is the uh, formula for line integral which you have to remember. Very important. Okay. So let's see. Uh, in as a contour, we know that in your case we have line, uh, square, rectangle, circle. Okay. So as a line integral, you have only this type of figures. Also, if you are contour divided into two parts, c1 and c2, then we know that integration f of z dz over the contour c. That can be expressed as integration f of z dz over the contour c1 plus integration f of z dz over the contour c2. Okay, so let's see how we can solve some another very important example. If you remember last in last lecture we already solved this example integration integration real part of z dz uh, where contour is nothing but the shortest part joining the two points one plus i to three plus two i. Okay, so let's see how we can solve our Next example. Now integration z square. Okay, integration z square. So what is your f of z? F of z is nothing but z square. Okay, and z square that means what? Z is nothing but x plus i y. So x plus i y whole square. That is equal to. We know that uh, this is nothing but x square minus y square plus i into x y. So when we compare our f of z with u plus i v, what is your u? u is nothing but x square minus y square, and v is nothing but 2 x y. Clear? u is nothing but x square minus y square, and v is nothing but 2 x y. So put this two value in our original uh, in formula for complex integration. What is our main formula? Integration f of z dz that is equal to integration u dx minus v dy plus i integration u dy plus v dx. Okay, so this equal to when I put this to value, okay, f of z dz that is equal to integration first put u is equal to x square minus y square, so x square minus y square dx minus xy dy plus i integration, now u dy plus v dx, so x square minus y square dy plus xy dx, okay. So now you can understand this is our main formula. Uh, let me show you with a different color so you can easily understand. Okay, this is our main formula, particular for particular this example, right? So instead of u and v, instead of u and v, I just take x square minus y square and v is nothing but 2x1. Okay, so call it equation number one. Now, now we have a line. Okay. Line joining the points 0, 0, 2, 4, 2. So, first of all, you have to find out the equation of line joining the points 0, 0, 2, 4, 2. So, let's find out. So, that's why uh, equation of line, equation of line joining the points, equation of line joining. The points, the points, what are the points? 0, 0, 2, 
four two. So using determinant method, uh, x y one zero zero one four two one. Okay. Now when I solve this example, now the equation of line is nothing but you can see that x into zero minus two minus y. You can see that zero minus four. So minus four. Plus one that is equal to plus one into into zero minus zero. Okay, so this is zero that is equal to zero. So finally you will get two x is equal to four y. So I can say that x is equal to two y. Okay, the equation of line is nothing but x is equal to two y. So you can say that dx the value of dx. Okay, the value of dx that is equal to I can write Okay. Now, in this equation number one, now if you remember, in this equation number one, instead of x, I have to take two y. Instead of dx, I have to take two d one. Okay. So let's take this value. Integration f of z dz. Okay. So integration f of z dz. Now what is f of z? Don't forget. F of z is nothing but z square dz that is equal to integration. Now, because you convert whole equation in the form of part, because when you take x is equal to two y and dx is equal to two d y, your whole equation converted into part. Okay, so that's why your limit is y. Okay, for y, so y limit is nothing but from zero to two. See. This is y coordinate zero. This is second point. This is also y coordinate two. So integration from zero to two. Okay. Now don't forget. Instead of cos term is what x square minus y square dx. Okay. So what is x square? X square is nothing but four y square. Okay. I can write four y square minus y square into dx. What is dx? Dx is nothing but Okay, so x square. This is nothing but x square minus y square dx minus. Okay, what is our next term? Let me show you. Two x y d y. Okay, so minus two x x is what two y. So two x y into d y. So this is my first term plus i plus i integration from zero to two. The second term is also four y square because this is also x square minus y square. So four y square minus y square x square minus y square d y. So this is as it is d y minus okay v d x. So this is two into two y y into d x. Okay. So here we have plus. If you remember, see here we have plus sign. So don't forget here we have plus sign. Plus two into two y y instead of dx, right? I can write two dy. So here we have two dy here. So that's why now the simplification. Try to understand the simplification first. The first term. See, this is four y square minus y square. So three y square, two y square multiplied with two. So this is six y square d. Now what is the next term? This is four y square d. So final is six y square minus four y square. So that is nothing but two y square, correct? So that's why integration from zero. To so integration from zero to two, two y square dy plus i integration from zero to two, eleven y square dy. Okay, and that's why integration. Of y cube, we know that y cube or uh, integration of y square that is y cube by three integration from zero to two plus i eleven constant integration of y square that is again y cube by three integration from zero to two. So that's why I can write two now instead of y I can write two. So two raised to three so that is eight by three right plus i eleven. Uh, this is again eight by three. So final answer is eight by three into two. So that's why this is sixteen by three plus i. This is eighty-eight by three. 
so this is my final answer so in today's lecture uh, we discuss about how we can find the line integral for the function f of z is equal to z square okay so because of f of z is equal to z square what is your u u is nothing but x square minus y square v is nothing but 2xy so first we put this two value in our original equation what is my original equation for complex integration integration f of z dz that is equal to integration u dx minus v dy plus i integration u dy plus v dx okay so we put this two value u and v u is nothing but x square minus y square v is nothing but 2xy uh, we put this two value in this equation after that because of we have a line joining the points joining two points 0 0 and 4 2 so that's why we find the equation of line the equation of line is nothing but x is equal to 2y so dx is equal to 2 dy and we put this two value in the equation so because of we convert whole equation into y into the form of y so that's why we have to take integration of y so limit is nothing but 0 to 2 and easily you can find the integration so thank you